like to welcome Captain Jim Furyk and the uh, victorious United States President's Cup team here at Royal Montreal. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jim, we'll, we'll just start with you with just a few opening comments on, on what the week has been like. Honestly, these 12, uh, I'm so proud to be their captain and they were, uh, I mean, they were a captain's dream. I mean, these guys get along so well, but as you know, they can flat play and uh, they kicked a lot of ass out there and when it, when it got tough, anytime the internationals put some pressure on us, they, uh, they played their asses off for us and, and uh, I'm just so proud to be a part of it. In the wise words of Travis Kelsey, you gotta fight for your right to play! It's the end of the week, James. President's Cup is over. What's your biggest takeaway? My biggest takeaway is that the U.S. team has a legit match play core, unlike anything they've had probably since Tiger. I was having dinner last night and Cap came up to me and, and asked if, if I'd be cool with going out first and he looked down this row of guys and it could be any one of us that's going to lead the charge and uh, you know I, I took it as a, a special opportunity to do something great and you know I wanted to get some red up on the board early uh, for the boys to look at and, and was able to do that today. Uh, they got along so well, the personalities gelled so well, um, so many good players on this team, 12 of them that there was probably a million different ways we could have mixed and matched them, and that was probably the most difficult thing. The two best players here this week were Xander Shoffley and Patrick Cantlay. Uh, the most fun players this week were Siwoo Kim and Tom Kim. <laughs> and then Tom and Siwoo together. I mean, those boys, uh, this course might be, you know, I don't know, 7,000 yards, but those boys cover about 9,000 yards in a round of golf, at least the ones that I played against them. <laughs> they, they hit unbelievable shots. Uh, PC and I saw it. They were very hard. PC and I had to bring out some of our best stuff to beat them last night. It came out to the last hole. The most successful player here was Sam Burns. Statistically, yeah. if you look at it, the worst irons player in the field this week, which is normally the most important statistic, Yet Sam Burns was the only guy that didn't lose a match, went 3 0 oh, and 1. Uh, and best rookie, maybe, Russell Henley. He had a terrific week. I think he went 3 and 1 with Scotty. I think Russell is one of the most underrated players on our tour, and so it was fun to go out there and earn a point with him. And um, yeah. See? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. The most meaningful moment, yeah. my boy Keegan Bradley, <laughs> the winning clinching point. Not only is he next year's Ryder Cup captain, he hasn't been on a U.S. team in a decade. Um, I told the boys last night it's been a decade. It's taken me a decade to get back into that room with these guys. and. Um, I really took for granted how special these weeks were. I watched a lot of these things on TV and was really sad to not be here. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about taking care of business today and we all went out there and did it. I was just lucky enough to be in that spot in the, in the day, but really a meaningful moment in my life. Um, the last time I played in one of these, I was the clinching point for the Europeans in the Ryder Cup. So, you know, fast forward 10 years later and I got to do that today. Um, really something that I'll remember the rest of my life. Uh, I think he may be playing in this tournament uh, more than anything benefited him as a Ryder Cup captain next year. Question is, what did Keegan Bradley show you as a potential <laughs> Ryder Cup player? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I, it was, I learned a lot from Jim and Tabitha this week. Uh, it was the best job I've ever seen done as captain and the captain's wife. Um, um, I, I learned a lot from them. Um, you know, I would love to join these guys and play next year. I, I don't know how that would ever be possible, but seeing what Jim did, seeing how nervous I was today to play. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm going to push that down the road. Uh, like I've said, I, I, if I make the team on points, I'll, I'll consider playing, but outside of that, I, I won't do that because 
this is really important to me next year. I, I don't care about my personal gains of you know playing in the tournament. I only care about winning the Ryder Cup, and uh, I think the best way to do that is to let these boys play um, and let them do what they do. But um, we'll see. I, I, I don't see it happening, but we'll see. It was also a pretty entertaining press conference. Uh, the fellas definitely uh, were, were well served before arriving in there. These guys are, are jokesters, even though they don't really show it um, on the outside. <laughs> that wasn't obvious up here, but uh, I loved it, man. It was, it was such a great group of guys and great group of personalities. Um, yeah, it was, just, it was just the best. Why, why is that? There's so our Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> uh, Kevin Kisner was in the corner instigating, bringing in uh, backup beers. You know, Russ is a tough guy. He's a tough competitor, and it's not easy playing as a rookie on these teams, and he stepped up in a big way. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud to have him as my partner and really proud to have him as a part of this team. You know, he was one of the guys that we were looking at the picks um, towards the – time the playoffs were starting he was a guy that we all wanted on the team he was one of our locks to be picked and you know Xander Shoffley has become the not only the on-course leader but also seemingly like the emotional and uh, I don't know the like light-hearted leader too. yeah totally making sure to keep keep chopping things up Collins very stoic very calm so is Pat I like to needle everybody in the room when you know I didn't grow up playing team sports so it's important I think for a team to be cohesive and, and to get along and to laugh at least in my eyes and like what does this actually mean for this event in the long term I, I really don't know like it is it is hard to make an argument that uh, this needs to continue in its current format when the score is almost exactly the same as it was two years ago, which is almost exactly the same as it was two years before that. I don't know. I mean, this tournament still means a lot. This event still yeah. means a lot to a lot of people in it. Making these teams is still incredibly meaningful, and the moments that they create throughout the week make it feel worth it. I mean, after the 5-0 sweep on Thursday, it felt like, what are we even doing here? But <laughs> yeah. then there was a 5-0 sweep back on Friday. The yeah. internationals, yeah. if things go a little bit differently on Saturday night if the U.S. doesn't flip those final few matches we come to Sunday almost tied. Even on Sunday there was a moment midway through uh, the day where there was enough yellow on the board that it was like you start doing the math. So yeah. I get it. I get it for people that want to tear it all down but it just means so much to, to these guys in so many different ways. I mean the disappointment of Adam Scott not to win one of these things and also the joy in all of his teammates' faces when he said, yeah, he'll try to be back in two years. Like, that, <laughs> yeah. that was meaningful to me. You know, um, I, I think I can play for another Let's couple go. years. Let's go! <laughs> I, I've come this far. I've come this far. If I can play in a couple more years and contribute a point, then I'd love to be on a winning President's Cup team. You know, I'm yeah. not... I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not like I said before, I believe there's something happening with this team internally under this shield. I'd love to push along and give it one more shot if I can. And uh, let's make it three more. <laughs> three more. Yeah, three. So Tom, Tom will play on 20 of these. He's no. got he's got two I to before I even you. played one. So, so I don't know, man. It, we had a great week. We did have a great week, and and I will say to your point. I feel like the internationals are one to two players away, like truly one to two players away from winning this, this event, which is closer than they've been. So, just Scotty Scheffler, he just, you know, <laughs> renounces leaves, leaves the country, <laughs> joins the international side, who knows. We had a great week though, this was a lot of fun, I hope to be back here again uh, in Chicago in two years with you, sitting in maybe these same seats. I hope you guys are with us too, thanks for watching. We're going to go over here to James. Uh, Max, I was wondering how long after you hooked that shot uh, did you first think about Kevin paying on his bet? I mean, like, <clears throat> half a second, <laughs> second and a half. I looked back and he was scampering down nine fairway trying to run away from me, I think. He left me a good four minutes before that. <laughs> Uh, I don't blame him, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was uh, obviously on my mind the whole week. Uh, it was 
I, I basically had three three check marks this week. One was to win the President's Cup with these boys, two was to have a great time, and three to get kids to take a shirt off. So I went three for three.